Hello and welcome to Teams App Camp. In this video, let's walk through the lab to add a deep link in the app for AC navigation. I'm Rabia Williams, Cloud Advocate at Microsoft. This video is to accompany the deep links lab in App Camp. Note that you'll need to complete lab A01 to A03, which builds out the core application before starting this one, as they build on one another. You can find all the AppCam labs at aka.ms slash app hyphen camp. Up to this point of the lab, you have created the core application Northwind Orders app, which is a personal tab that uses Teams SSO and Styling, which retrieves your orders and display them for you in the My Orders tab. Now, let's extend the application by adding additional capability. In this lab, we will add a deep link to our existing Teams app. What are deep links in Teams? Any link that sends users to specific content within your app in Teams is a deep link. It's a single link that leads from anywhere into Teams and into a specific channel or chat or into a specific tab and then show information within your app all with one click. This saves users having to search or navigate for information every time they enter into your application, making it easy and will drive application usage. Things you can do. Create deep link to a tab, a channel conversation or file in channel. Open a meeting scheduling dialog. Open an app install dialog. Open a chat. Invoke an audio or video call. In this lab, we're going to add a new button in the order details page, which copies the link to the specific order to clipboard. This helps users share this copied link via chat or Outlook to colleagues for them to navigate easily to that specific order. So now let's get started by visiting the lab site. Go to microsoft.github.io slash app hyphen camp. And once you're in the home page, use the top navigation, select extended labs. And these are the labs you will use to extend your existing core application. You probably have built using path A. There's also a path B available. Now, these are your adventures. So make sure you have fun doing them. Now select add a deep link to a personal tab. And let's go through the instructions. Here are the concepts you're going to learn in this particular lab. And this is the feature you're going to add into your application. Now, how did we build this deep link? This is the syntax we have used. Let's take a look at how we generated this link. We have app ID. This is the Teams app ID from the manifest file. We have entity ID. This is defined in your manifest file in the static tabs object for the particular entity or the tab. In our case, this is orders of my orders tab. Sub entity ID. This is the ID for the item you're displaying information for. This is similar to query parameters. In our case, in this lab, it will be the order ID. And combine these three to form the deep links. All right, so I'm in the client pages folder. Go to orderdetails.html and I can see that this is the button that we will use to select to get the link copied into the clipboard. Go to orderdetails.js in the same folder and you can see here this is all the fun stuff happening. Uh, we've got the event listener added to this button. You have sub entity ID, which is the order ID. This is like the query parameter that we pass as context. And you can see that this is the, the link that we generated with the um, app ID, the Teams app ID, you can see here, which is from the manifest file, but exposed in the environment variable and orders, which will be the ID of that tab, which is again in the manifest as entity ID. Now let's go ahead and look into the manifest file. So go to manifest folder and manifest.json file. And you can see in the static tab section, entity ID is orders for my orders uh, tab. Now the ID is the team's app ID, which is here. 
which is also exposed as environment variable. Now, how we have exposed it to the client pages, there's a little trick here. Inside the server folder, go to server.js file. You can see in this uh, function, we're exposing Teams app ID as well. So this is also added into the code. Now going back to myorders.js file, because that's where you land, there is a checking happening after initializing the SDK, whether the context has sub page ID, which is the sub entity ID information that we passed earlier. If that's available, then you will be redirected to the order details.html page. And I will show you that in the order details code. So let's go to order details.js. You can see I have passed this information as sub entity ID. Now start the server and the app is already installed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one of the orders and select the copy order URL. Then the link is already copied. Now I can go ahead and share this with another user, a colleague, and I will post that in the chat and then I will switch to the other user to show you how that works. So I already have the message from Anne and this is the chat that I will click on this link and it will take me directly to that particular order. So saving time for me to go ahead into the application, search and navigate to this particular order. Thanks for watching this AppCam video. Complete instruction for this lab is at aka.ms slash app hyphen cam. Once you've completed it, you can continue any of the extended labs. Hope you have a smooth sailing and that you enjoy doing Microsoft Teams AppCam.